I like how I opened last video, and I'm gonna do it again this time. Welcome back, family and friends, gamers and cat lovers. If you missed it, last week I made a video on how I would improve the hunting horn in Monster Hunter World. A little over a month ago, I made a video about how I would improve the Diablo's armor set. And I'm back this week to share my thoughts on the Glavinous armor set. Fun fact, in Japanese, its name is Dino Barudo. Neat, huh? Anyway, there's something missing from it. It's something that came with the set when the monster was first introduced in Monster Hunter Generations. It was called Heavy Polish. You probably know it by equipping a sharp jewel or by building the Odo Garen set. That's right, protective polish. The current Glavinous set in Monster Hunter World didn't make sense to me at first. Well, the maximum might part. But the more I thought about it, I kind of came around to parts of it making sense to me. The Glavinous set bonus is that it raises maximum might skill past level 3 and up to level 5, giving you a whopping 40% affinity as soon as the stamina gauge is full, which does match the Glavinous's fighting style, since it doesn't really run around, right? Rather, it constantly is trying to slice and dice you with its massive tail. So let's take a look at the rest of the set. It comes with Handicraft, Makes Sense, Focus, Power Prolonger, and Heat Guard and Normal Shot Boost if you build the A set. Now as much as I do like both the Focus and Power Prolonger skills, I think a better match for the Glavinous set would have been the Protective Polish. I know it may seem redundant with the Handicraft skill as well, but it did initially come with the Glavinous set on Monster Hunter Generations and it fits with how the Glavinus sharpens its tail with its teeth while the Odo Garen walks around with a piece of meat in its mouth. Perhaps I should have put in the Tenderizer skill on the Odo Garen set and given the protective polish to the Glavinus set. They could have done something where maybe you needed to have five pieces of the Glavinus set or something to that effect. Anyway, Capcom, if this message ever reaches you, you can still fix this. Bring back the Deviant Hellblade Glavinus and have Protective Polish be a part of that set. You know what? Just bring back all the Deviants. Without all the levels though. And I know Mr. Cusa would love to see the Optimus Prime Crystal Beard Uragon set again. And I would love to face off against the Dread King and Queen Rathalos and Wraithian again. What about you guys and gals? Would you like to face off with the Deviants again? If so, which one? And what about the Glavinous armor set? Do you agree? Or leave it as it is? Or do you have a different idea altogether? Let us know. I love talking about Monster Hunter. And until next time, thanks for watching.